this is one more services in this google cloud security okay security means here they will going to provide you security to your data whatever data you will going to save here whatever project you created whatever project you deployed different kind of security they provide what are the security like they provide you recapture they provide you some virtual private cloud control binary author authorization they provide they provide uh, you prevention against the data loss key management certificate this key management certificate means digitally how you can make your data safe okay so you should be aware about like this also what are the security parameters or security measures that are given by your google cloud once you click on this you can do parallelly with me by going into this project first you select the project inside that project you go to this security once you go to this security you can see what are the information is mentioned there here it is written that the administrator who use this google cloud okay to do his task he just need to take care of the security right so like any user like suppose you me right so here cloud will going to take care of everything you don't need to do anything here you just need to select the services that you want to enable to make your cloud project or data secure like you can click on this recapture okay when you click on this recapture you can enable this when you will going to enable this okay it will ask you to enter captcha or something like billing is required here right so you you will get such kind of uh, error also okay? uh, why you are getting this error because you have to because we are using the free tier account okay right now we have your 300 dollars they have given to us but still it's a free one right so this security services are all in order to understand this security services you should have a premium account means premium is paid account so that you can't do it but here uh, once you click on this enable billing and all uh, you can uh, able to see it but right now i am not enabling it because this is not a actual project so i am cancelling it but in case if it is a paid one when you enable this api recaptcha enterprise api this api will going to make any of the application that you deploy on this cloud based on the captcha you might have a do online payment right online payment or uh, irct train ticket or railway ticket booking right it ask you random captcha hope everyone is aware about what is captcha captcha is means some text is showing on your screen you need to retype it on the box okay it is something like uh, a captcha it is something like this means uh, some text is written on the box and you need to retype it and once it is match with this uh, then only it will give you access right so this is one more services once you enable this whatever project that you are currently working in that the captcha will be enabled so that anyone who want to access it he has to enter the captcha so this captcha is used in various place for gmail account even in the amazon aws account also uh, once you are login is fail they just wanted to check whether you are not a robot so they just ask you to enter a captcha right in youtube and various website they use captcha even in the online exam form also when you fill it they ask you to enter a captcha so this is called recaptcha enterprise api you can try it on your account click on this enable api and see what changes you can see when you enable it but you will also get a same as, uh, like issue as i am as i was getting enable the billing account because we are using the free account and it is not for the free one it is for the paid one as i said you when you are the when you are using a free account there is a some restriction on that on the services that you can use it Uh, similarly uh, you can have uh, other services also
beyond corp enterprise this is one more uh, api is there and this api what it will going to do it will going to prevent your application from being access unauthorized on authorized way means uh, it will prevent your application from being data loss and uh, like you don't need a vpn to access it and like there will be no any virus attack or any kind of trojan any kind of malware attack on your project right so whatever project you will going to install you can click on this start access protection tutorial and you can read it from there also what is this security why i'm telling you this security measures so that when you are going to work on the company on this uh, google cloud or any cloud this security measure unit you, you should have to take care or they will enable this security measure on your project then you should be enable it a through api or you should be aware knowledge on that how to enable it how to access it what is this security measure why do we need it right so that's why i'm telling you what are the security measures on this google cloud so one of this is beyond corp access in this beyond corp access uh in this beyond corp access they will going to um, like whatever web application specifically to the web application like your website whatever you have deployed it they will prevent it from being unauthorized access identity aware proxy this is one more uh, security measure that is given on this security and uh, this is based on the vm means the virtual box that is running they will prevent your application from being author uh, unauthenticated access vm means virtual machine virtual box uh, do you know like i have already explained you what is virtual box right virtual box in the sense you will going to install one software in that software you import window library or like a window software so virtual box allow you to run multiple operating system on your on your system like here you can see uh, i have a window 10 right but similarly i use a window 10 uh, means ubuntu and linux also for that you need to install a virtual box click here uh i think i have shown you before also but see this is a virtual box means either this you can install virtual box or you can install vm instance see vm it is already showing right this is the same thing vm instance when you once you click on this vm it will take some time to start you can see this screen right i am using this ubuntu this is window outside is my window how outside is my window and internally on this virtual box i am using this ubuntu operating system this is the ubuntu one in the in the previous session i have already shown you how you can start it just click on this and you can start it's very easy to install a virtual box uh, if you might uh, not aware and you want me to help you to install a virtual box i will explain you in one session how you can do this is very simple not a difficult so in this way in your system you can run multiple virtual box now if you want to run ios application also click on the file import once you click on this import select the uh, ios file operating system file you need to download this okay this will not come by default virtual box once you download it you have to install this ubuntu image ubuntu virtual box image you need to download it and with the help of import you need to upload it here so based on that you can use it similarly ios also you have to download it and import it so that you can use it so this is called as your one of the security measure let me close this access context manager this is one more uh, google cloud uh, security service which uh, take care of the manager account manager account in the sense like a Uh, various account we have on the cloud right user account employee account service account so this will take care of all this thing they will prevent your uh, account from being hacked they will prevent your account from being a data loss 
they will prevent your account from being used unauthentically right so these are the different kind of security measure given by your google cloud platform now you might be asking me like how you know like which to enable right this might be a question coming in your mind which of the service you should be enable this service is completely based on that your requirement based on your project your data you have done work on the google cloud based on that you need to enable and in case in company also they enable this service before only so that we can access our code data like securely so similarly there is a vpc service control one more uh, kind of uh, vm instance virtual private cloud based authentication binary authorization is one more in this uh, binary authorization Uh, this binary authorization means here you will going to use some of the engine kubernetes engine or like a policy uh, means some one kubernetes engine is there just like a compute engine whose task is uh, to deploy your whole application on the cloud successfully that's why we use this binary authorization api binary authorization api means when both side means the developer and the customer they enable this api they can access this google cloud binary means two right so when when the destination or when the like a producer like means when the user or when the client both are enable this api they can access this they can access the data or a uh, like a project so this is called binary authorization Uh, there are some other things also there like data loss prevention how you can prevent your data loss from right how you can prevent the data loss you just need to enable this so in case of if any data is getting lost while generate while doing any task suppose you are saving the on the bucket right i told you how you can access bucket on the cloud when you save a data on the bucket and suppose if you feel that data is going to loss just enable this api once you enable this api your cloud only will going to take care of all the security measure to prevent your data from being lost i repeat once again once you enable this api they will going to do all the analysis with respect to this and they will prevent your data from being lost key management and certificate authority service is a digital key that is generated by the cloud to prevent authorized access for example uh, suppose uh, suppose you uh, go outside so while going outside you lock the door right and the key is either with you or with your parents right suppose you have a duplicate key you have one key and your parents is having key so that key is what a kind of digital key you can say you both have a key so suppose if you come early you will able to enter the house if your parent will come early they will going to enter the house so you have a you have a two two key with you one is your parent and one is with you similar thing is happen here this cloud key management service is kind of a service aid when you enable this service it will be enable at both client side and user side so this kind of call is a digital key digital key means it is not like a physical key it's a digital key they will generate one code that code you need to paste it on the cloud to access it like an otp otp is what a digital key they send a otp to you once you enter otp they will identify you and give you access right that is called a digital key so like this uh, there are different kind of services are there inside the security certificate authority service this is one more certificate uh, is there that you need to enable the billing to use that so like this there are different kind of services are there in this google cloud so we have seen what are the different kind of security services if you have any question just ask me do you have any question any one of you
एनी वन ऑफ यू हैविंग एनी क्वेश्चन